Someone like Cotto has trouble at the mill. Someone is vexed behind that door. Excuse the mess. Another bottle broke. It's no big business. Are you sure you're all right? You seem a little overwhelmed. Uh, a bottle fell from its shelf. No big business, Mr. McRaith. Happens all the time. Are you all right? If you must know, sir. I have a drinking problem. Really? I do. My liquor disappears. My bottles fall to the floor and break, though I'm nowhere near. It is a drinking problem indeed. Objects inexplicably vanishing, moving or breaking. Either you're haunted or you're clumsy and you think. Haunted, you say? Mm, well, Your Majesty, why not? As the saying goes, when life gives you a torrent of shit, may as well be haunted. You could be in danger. To be haunted is really good. Well, now, that is bad news. Which is good, because I don't believe in good news. I'm offering you my help. Can you afford to refuse it? I don't believe in helping hands either. But if you want to do whatever it is you do, please feel free to do it. When did the bottle breaking start? I don't know. I gave up on keeping track of time, or things. Normally, if a bottle disappears, I drank it and forgot. But I'm not wrong about this. In quiet moments, I hear the bottle glass crack. When I'm not there, the liquor moves about. Other times, they dare to fall of a sudden, out of nowhere, and break upon the floor. The shelves are straight and proper stacked. I had Ishmael check. It is a mystery, right enough. Who's Ishmael? Ishmael Law is the finest friend I've ever known. He works for me, he lives upstairs, and he looks after me. I have my own little house across the way. Ah, oh, talk of an angel, hear the flutter of his wings. Phoebe, what's the matter? Oh, good day. What can well, I do? Well, it's just another bottle broke. I'd blame my butterfingers, but Mr. Banisher here thinks we may have a ghost. God take my soul. I'm sorry. The spilled liquor. The stink. Come now. Come now. I'm sorry. All is well, Ishmael. Breathe. Just breathe. It's just another worry fit. You'll be fine. While he gets back on his feet, let's look around. Broken glass. She said bottles in her house shifted and fell. We should check it out. Half our operation wiped out us. Curses are bad for business. You're safe. Mia, not going anywhere. Poor Ishmael has fits of worry. I feel like he panicked when I mentioned the ghost. Phoebe Walcott's done well for herself. Her own warehouse and pier at Covent Beach. What can a ghost only communicate by breaking wee bottles? A feeble ghost? Capable only of small mischief? They've been playing for years. I'm keeping the score. Either Ishmael's getting better or Phoebe's getting worse. For Constance, Phoebe is a painter. This is just an easel. No paints. Unfinished work? Why would you name a painting before starting it? The 
this is sad as it is disturbing. Despite her defiance, her past butters her. Phoebe likes a drink. Or five. Maybe that vexes our mysterious ghost. A ghost was here, not long ago. I know Phoebe and Ishmael are friends, but it was a generous will. Our shy, bottle-breaking ghost also hides things. Why the will? Everything Ishmael has, he gets from her. Perhaps the ghost thinks Ishmael is being ensnared. I doubt there's anything more to be found here. Let's go back to the store and ask a few more questions. Have you found your ghost? May I? How's Ishmael? Feeling better, is he? He's cleaning up the broken glass. I've buggered off till he's finished, and you should too. Would you know, by any chance, what, what pulls the trigger on his crises? He deals with his pain as best he can, like all of us. You leave him alone now, yeah? I'm sorry, I must insist. You, Your Majesty, are tugging at my berries now, and it vexes me. I'm here to protect you from a ghost, Mistress Walcott. Ishmael's condition may be important. Ishmael, Lord, just needs a drink. He has a past, and because of it, when he gets the anxieties, he collapses. It's how he is, and he won't take his medics. Well, that's all right, because I can easily drink enough for two. Your troublesome ghost meddles with more than your booze. It also hid your will. I knew things were vanishing. It wasn't just the liquor. Whose ghost do you think might hide your liquor and your will? Sounds like my long-dead husband's particular brand of mischief. Ghosts may linger long in the invisible before returning. If you've liquor stocked elsewhere, I'd like to check it. I would too, sir. But I abandoned my warehouse some time ago and I've since lost the keys. Ishmael may have spares. His room is upstairs, right over our heads. A trusted friend, is he? <sighs> Despite his efforts to keep me alive, I consider him my one and only friend. Thank you for your time. No matter. Something has me. Wards. I'm at your side again. This Bible really annoyed him. I hope he kept his opinion to himself. Games of strategy, games of chance. A widow, drunk and inconsolable, and a widower, sober and inconsolable. Hmm. Also, a shy, bottle-breaking ghost. That's not a lot to go on. Ishmael took a risk keeping this, especially around here. Was he scared of a ghost? I'd like to ask him about that.
So our mysterious ghost also took time to hide that key. Must be important. Wet sand. Did Ishmael go to the sea recently? Covenant Beach, maybe? Uh, that's a possibility, but why would the ghost hide a key? What exactly does this ghost want? There's no clear pattern. Banisher rule number one, a ghost always lingers for a reason. Let's have a chat with Ishmael Law. Are you feeling better, Mr. Law? Call me Ishmael and accept my apologies for my previous behaviour. Accept my apologies for searching your room. I did have your boss's approval, but you may yet feel discomforted. If Phoebe allowed it, I'm sure it's all right. To be really honest with you, I need your help understanding what's going on here. I'll do my best, sir. It's kind of easy to work for someone who drinks so much. Phoebe Walcott deals with her pain the only way she knows. But you, you dislike heavy drinkers, don't you? My friend is wounded by the horrors of the world. She drinks so that she does not weep. But I weep enough for two. You had a, a fit of worry. Not the first, I gather. What scared you? You embarrass me, sir. <laughs> no need to be embarrassed, Mr. Law. But I do need the information if I'm to end this haunting. My fits, sir, being the work of no ghost, shall not be your business neither. He suffers in silence, just like his friend. The villagers burned the governor's ghost wards, but you kept one in your room. Why? The wards were sent by God. Yes, I keep one in my lodgings. The better to be safe from evil. Since you depose the governor, here God's voice is little heard. The Almighty, it turns out, is easily deterred. God has forsaken Ishmael law, or so he thinks. God may be easily deterred, sir. But I'm not. Then you had better get to work, for the good folk of the Harrows teeter on the brink. What can you tell me about Covenant Beach? Not much, sir. There's a locked warehouse there. The ghost that haunts this store hid the key. That was Mistress Walcott's storehouse, at the centre of her business. It's derelict now. But you've been there of late, haven't you? I found sand from the beach in your lodgings. Why did you go to the warehouse? And why would the ghost hide the key to it? I don't know what you are scraping for, mister, but you'll not find it on my boots. I'll see you later, Ishmael. Anytime, sir. Strange case. We found nothing conclusive. The warehouse by the beach is the only lead left. Let's go.
Ishmael's nerves and Phoebe's thirst. Reminds me of the good old days. Just lie me down on a puddle of piss and add a couple of angry ghosts. Hey, Phoebe, you're looking pretty good. Yeah, I'm not sure I'm feeling that good. Well, 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 I'm not sure I'm feeling that good. Look to me.
They never learn, do they? <laughs> 